Hello traders, welcome to Alaj Loop. This is Deepen Gogoi. Today we will discuss about the Bank Nifty, pivot point, support and resistance, market trend or macro range. And we will see uh, today market entry point and exit point in Bank Nifty. And this is Bank Nifty and the daily pivot point 27159. First support, uh, first resistance 27380, and the third, uh, second support, sorry, resistance 27496, and the third resistance 27718, sorry, resistance, and the first support 27040, second 26821, and the third support 26705. And this is bank nifty so i told that market is placing uptrend and creating higher high so if we see in this market like that and uh, this is uh, like so creating higher high right uh, so you can see this one high lower high higher high for this is daily okay and uh, higher low and now creating higher high this is higher high so now problem is that how we will determine that uh, what is the last point of higher high it is uh, not the hundred percent perfect but the probability so where it may higher high right so that is why I create I use the Fibonacci to find out the higher point right if you see in the weekly chart, so weekly chart we find that higher point is there, but it's a too far. We, we need a small uh, near uh, higher high, which is most probability it may go. So I use the Fibonacci by using higher high PBS and higher low. All right. So why I'm using that one? So you can see here. So like uh, this is X point A and the V, this is C and this is D point, a retestment of 50%, this is D point and now what is the E point, we need the E point right, we need E point, where is E? So according to Fibonacci extension, 123.6% is the E point, right? Exactly here, E point, okay. So at that time, we have to find another resistant line where it may give a good resistant line or like um, uh, another confirmation. Like you can see here, we are not able to find uh, good resistance, like two to three resistant, uh, sorry, what call uh, sign for resistance, right? Uh, confirmation. So another here we are getting, right? According to the daily chart, this is the support point one, two, two touches, three touches, right? In that case, we have to find that a resistance is, will be like here. Right, this will be resistant. So you can see just it touches the most uh, touches point like here, here, three touches, right? Now let me draw. Yeah, one touches, two touches, and a three touches. Now, according to Fibonacci, this is the resistant, and according to the support, PVS support and resistant, this is resistant. So in that case, we have to find. Um, so we got this area like this one so this area known as a buffer zone right this is the buffer zone right so if we want to take buy risk so we have to take buy risk up to this area also it might go a little more above and again it might give a retracement right from this area around uh, 27,670 to 27,800 there is 200 buffer 
point here is 200 buffer zone are there 200 point uh, buffer zone are showing us so we have to take virus up to this area only okay this is for um long term for daily right so let's see for today and uh, sorry so you can see four hour chart uh, market to, uh, today just uh, gap down open mm. if you see in a small time frame like for one hour one hour continuously price is going up so from this level it may it may give a retracement a little more but it's a high probability will go up or more 300 point from now now current price is 27,300 and uh, our first resistance first target will be there uh, 27,600 almost 300 point now let's see in a 15 minute for the entry so let me make some uh, zoom out here so you can see in this area in this area they broke down this they broke down this uh, resistance line start going but now what may it happen sometime they came up to previous resistance line so you can see this one previous, previous resistance line they broke this area and they gone up but uh, from this area it may give a retracement and again it will start going up but at that time uh, that was previously we used daily uh, chart right at that time we uh, uh, we use uh, Fibonacci and now we will use Fibonacci for 15 minutes for small time frame like you can see here all right um, so I'm connecting the previous higher point and today's lower point uh, no sorry uh, 15 minute lower point okay in that case we connected this one uh, 0 and this is 100 of percent of Fibonacci right now you can see first extension 123 already broke down and a second uh, here around uh, 27,500 this is the next target in small time frame so it may go up to uh, 27,500 and after that you can see my, uh, what they are following uh, this one you can see okay let me zoom mm. okay You can see I connected this one so it may go up to 130% like 27,500 so after that it may give a retracement from this area so at a what level they will give the retracement so at that time we have to see the previous market behavior from which moving average they was bouncing back so this one you can see this one 100 moving average this one right this 100 moving hours this uh, just bouncing from the 100 moving hours again market came to 100 moving hours bouncing to uh, again bouncing from 100 moving hours so next time they again they may come up to 100 moving hours right and it will come like this 100 moving hours and again start bouncing so if we get any opportunity to in enter in this market in bank nifty so start buying from here and the keep your stp just below the supporting level and put your target around 27,600 right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching